Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided I wanted to do just like an old school palette or beauty haul. This haul is about 95% palette. Y'all know how I get down. If you are an OG, you know, <laughs> then you already know. If you're new, hi, welcome. Welcome to my little impromptu haul. Um, but yes, I'm a palette freak, a palette addict. I'm trying to stop, but <laughs> it just ain't working. So yeah, I haven't done a haul in quite a while, I don't think. I did a video not too long ago with me drooling over like neutral palettes and stuff. Some of those were new, so I'm not going to show those again in this video if I've already showed them. There's a few palettes in here that I might have already shown or mentioned in my Shop My Stash because they are part, part of my current Shop My Stash. But other than that, I think most of these things are just items that have been coming in over the last few weeks or ever since Black Friday. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I don't need to do a whole long to do, which too late. But yeah, I'm just going to show you the palette, not doing no swatching and stuff. I mean, unless I feel so inclined, but I really don't feel like swatching tonight because it's about 10 o'clock at night and I had started putting away my newer items and I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and do a quick haul. So let's jump right in. Now this first palette is one that I did already show. I showed it in my Shop My Stash because I actually used it, the Cosmic Dreamer. This is from Inslee Rain. This is one of the palettes that I was drooling over and I really, really wanted it so bad. Um, I was a little disappointed, a little disappointed in this palette. Um, I can't say it's bad quality because it's really, really not bad quality. It's just not the quality that I like when it comes to matte shadows. Now, like I said, the shimmer's amazing, but the mattes, you know, it's like, they didn't give the punch that I was looking for. They weren't as deep and rich as they looked in the picture. So this is that palette. So I had to really, really search <laughs> my shelves for this palette. I was like, great didn't declutter it already, did you? Because I could not find it. I had stuck it deep in between some other palettes and stuff, child. Like, I know I'm not picking that palette up again. But anyway, so that's new. I also picked up the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes. I could not resist this. You guys know that. Um, it is so, so gorgeous. I just, I had to grab it. It came back, you know, had to have this in my collection. It is so beautiful, affordable. Um, the shipping is a little steep, but the palette itself, pretty affordable. I do have their other palette, the one in the pink packaging, but this color story was just calling my name. So I'm so glad that I went ahead and grabbed it. Even though I have these colors probably a million times over, I still wanted it. So I got it. Let's run through some ColourPop palettes. I stay buying ColourPop palettes. You would think that I collect them, but it's impossible. They have too many releases. I can't. I have a lot of them, a huge ColourPop collection, but I still don't have all of them. So this first one here is the Glow Getter. This is one that I found on the website. Didn't even know that it was out, but look at that pretty packaging. And this is what it looks like. So with this color story, I know I was drawn to the shimmers and that dark blue matte in the corner and the cooler tones. I find that I've really, really been drawn to cooler tones recently for some reason. Loving neutrals, loving cool tones, like what's going on? But this color store is really, really pretty to me. It kind of says winter, even though it's like in a more springy type packaging. So got that. Also from ColourPop, I picked up this By The Rose. <laughs> so it has the little bubbles there, so cute. That's one thing about ColourPop, honey. They get me with the packaging every time. And they actually are really, really good with color stories. They really are. Even if they dupe themselves over and over and over again, honey, I guess they duping me too because I keep buying them. But yeah, I found myself really, really loving rosy type color stories 
For some reason right now, I actually pulled a couple of palettes so I can do like a rosy type look with my shop mustache, but this is just really pretty to me, really soft, really girly. Maybe it's the whole, you know, what is it? The soft life. <laughs> I'm trying to live my soft life right now, but it's just really, really pretty. So glad I got that. Now this, I feel like I purchased it a while ago, but it's like in my stack of newbies. This is the all amethyst palette and I probably did purchase it like a while ago, but I just never mentioned it in any of my videos. But this is the color story here. So more of the cooler tone purple color story. I do have some really beautiful purple palettes, but this one, you know, has a little bit of a cool tone touch to it. So I do really like that. It's a different twist, you know, with the amethyst. Gorgeous. I can't wait to play with this on my lid, but happy I got that. Now this next group of palettes, they all came, I cannot think of the name of this collection because I threw away the box. I don't like having my palettes inside boxes because it just annoys me when I'm ready to pull it and use it, look at it, swatch it, whatever. I'm just, I don't deal with all the boxes. So <laughs> I have to list uh, what the name of this collection is, but it is one, two, three, yeah, six beautiful beautiful palettes here gorgeous nine pan color stories they're in the hard plastic and so this is what they look like they each have a different name so this one is new money as you can see here that's what that one looks like this one is called extra coin so you can see they write the name on the front like that i really like this one i just i do like i said the cooler tones i'm really really into that right now so i'm really feeling that this one is called sweet vibes okay look at that really really pretty mixture of blues and purples in there gorgeous that's really pretty yeah and that's a shimmer too it looks like a glitter but it's a shimmer Island Vacay, so there's your natural <laughs> warm tone neutrals that I'm really, really feeling right now. But it also has a little bit of like, like pinky rosy tones in there, as you can see. Really, really pretty. I like that. And then this one here is called Pink Drink. I don't really do a lot of pink eyeshadow, I noticed, but... I'm about to get into it because I'm really, really feeling these pink palettes. So that's really pretty as well. And then lastly, there is Sunny Days. So if you kind of like the, you know, yellow, orangey tones, peachy tones, then you have a few shades in here to play with. Really, really gorgeous. So I bought that during the sale. I don't remember how much I paid for these, but they're really cute. This palette I really, really like. It's so pretty to me. It's called In the Springs. Really, really cute packaging here. But the color story is what I'm in love with. So this is what she looks like, okay? Really, really pretty. Like the orangey, turquoise. You got your warm earth tones in there. And then that navy blue. Always kicks it off with the navy blue. It's like, go ahead and put that punch in there. So... Yeah, this color story got me very, very easily. I love teals. I love blues, you know, really pretty. So I like that mix together. I did order their latest palette. What is it? The Aurora something. Really, really pretty. Can't wait to get it. Color pop be taking forever to come to me. Okay. So who knows when that'll come. But this one is the Enchanted. Now, I saw several people with this palette and, and I was just ignoring it. I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, yeah, it's a pretty palette, pretty purple palette, you know, but it's like every time I saw it, I felt myself wanting it. Okay. And so I knew if I could get my hands on it, I was going to, whenever I get stuck on a palette like that and I just can't let it go. It's like, girl, you got to get it. Cause there's a lot of palettes where I'm like, oh, that's pretty. It's gorgeous. 
but I don't actually get it. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe, but there are a lot of palettes that I look at that I like and I don't actually grab. But this one, for some reason, just these purples here, yeah, they got me. So I just, I love the whole vibe of this palette, the packaging, the color story, it's gorgeous. So they did a good job with that one. This is another one that I just could not release <laughs> when I saw it and I was like oh that's cute kept seeing it kept seeing it and I was like I'm gonna end up buying that so this is the cold control alt glam palette I think is this a collab yeah this is a collab palette you can see it there <sighs> but yeah this color story as well of course the gorgeous purples they threw that you know teal in there just to kind of grab me and really really pretty it's like with color pop you're always going to have some overlap you're always going to be looking at palettes like mm, didn't i just buy that don't i have that <laughs> didn't they just come out with that but they always switch it up just enough to make you want it and with the packaging you know that doesn't help either because their packaging is bomb but you can see here with the enchanted palette on the bottom and then the control alt glam on the top these you know they have some pretty similar purples in there but they would be cute companion palettes as well you know if you want to play with them together that's one thing i really love about color pop is i could pop pop all these shadows out any of these shadows that i want to take out because they're magnetic and mix them up you know and and recreate my own palette how i want it to be that's the nice thing about ColourPop. It's like they're very affordable, buy their stuff when it's on sale, and it's decent quality too. It's not like Revolution. <laughs> no shade. But Revolution is so hit or miss. I don't even buy Revolution anymore. Do not. I won't do it. I don't care how pretty, how cute it is. Their formula is so hit or miss. I don't even want to take the chance. So I don't buy Revolution anymore. I also picked up this Hocus Pocus 2 palette. I've never even seen the Hocus Pocus movie. I don't know anything about it except I guess they witches. But never watched one, two, any of them. But this palette was just super cute. Really, really cute. I was like, oh, okay. But honestly, it was the color story that got me. You know, when I really looked closely at the color story, I was like, oh, that's a really nice palette. It has this nice roll down here, which are black and gray. So you could do a smoky look. Of course, has your beautiful purple row, has a green row, orange row, and then this, um, what is it called? Like taupey type shades, like brown, the cool tone brown, taupey type shades. So it's like you have four very simple eye looks that you can do right here without even thinking about it. No brainer. But if you're like me and you like to mix it up, you know, you could do your purple and orange, purple and green, you know, your black and brown taupey type look. So I felt like this was a really, really nice color story. They did a good job with this also along with the packaging. You know, the packaging is really cute. So, yeah, I like that. So, I went ahead and grabbed that. Okay, so next I have some Juvia's palettes. And they're not necessarily new palettes. I think one of them is kind of new. Um, I just had no idea that they had come out with this. It's this Fula palette. Do you guys know about the Fula palette? I only found it because I went on their website looking for something else. <laughs> you guys know I bought the recent coffee collection palette. Love that palette. Perfect, beautiful, warm, earthy tones. It's gorgeous. It goes really deep too. But this is this palette here and it was like really different to me, you know, small with the little square pants, you know, just something kind of different for Juvia's Place. Even though they have a lot of the small palettes, they're all, you know, like the four pan palettes. So you get the four shades or whatever in there or the, the slightly larger ones that are six pans. But I hadn't seen anything like this really from Juvia's. And so, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, those are really pretty shimmers in there. And they're absolutely gorgeous. 
So yeah, I just found that by surprise on their website when I was looking for something else, but it's really pretty. Now I did go ahead and pick up the Garden of Juvia's. I had um, kind of neglected to buy this for a long time because I don't really do pastels. I just don't. I, as much as I love color, I don't really do pastels. So it took me watching several videos of people using this in different ways and different eye looks and things that pushed me to go ahead and buy it. That along with the fact that I do collect Juvia's palettes, so I believe I have all her palettes and I just felt like there was this unnecessary hole in my collection. <laughs> so that along with me uh, watching other people use this palette kind of went ahead and convinced me that, you know what, it is really pretty. Even though the shades, the colors are on the lighter side, it's really a lot of beautiful shimmers in here. And of course the purples I can work with, the beautiful pinky shades, these teals, and the lemon, bright lemon yellow and everything. It's just, it's really, really pretty. So I went ahead, bit the bullet and bought it. Now the true test when spring comes around, when I use it, if I like it. But I kind of feel like I will. I'm not really concerned about it. And then lastly, I believe from Juvia's Place, I went ahead and picked up this culture palette. Now I had avoided this palette for a long time. I was like, I don't need that. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want it. For one, I have a million bazillion colorful palettes. <laughs> so I was like, I don't need another big colorful palette. And the other two palettes, um, the larger palettes from Juvia's Place, while they do have some really, really beautiful, gorgeous shimmers and mattes in them, they're not necessarily my favorite. I don't reach for them when I think about doing a, a really colorful look. So I had avoided this palette. And also, I'm not really feeling circle pans anymore. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I have fallen in love with the square pan shadows and so when a brand comes out with circle pans and they've already done square pans it it kind of bothers me it kind of annoys me so that's just my own little pet peeve i know some people prefer circle pans some people prefer square pans i'm a square pan girl okay so i had avoided purchasing this palette for a long time for those basic reasons but once again, whenever I'm kind of like on the fence about a palette or honestly, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to buy that palette, even though it's colorful, I will watch videos on the palette, videos of other people using the palette, getting different opinions, swatches, eye looks, um, Instagram. I will really dig deep before I decide to buy something that I've already decided I'm not buying just to complete my collection. So that's basically how I ended up with this. Still absolutely gorgeous colors in here. No complaints about that. And I do like how they, you know, set the rows up to where each one is its own color story. So it's very, very easy to use this palette for someone who is not quite sure about mixing up different colors and a large palette kind of confuses them or overwhelms them. I love when they do the rows of colors because it just makes it really easy to do a monochromatic eyelet. <laughs> so yeah, but it is really gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I just, I don't know. I'm just not down with the circle pans right now, okay? Okay, so this next one was another one that I said, you know what, I don't need that. I'm not going to buy it. But the completionist in me, it just, it wouldn't let me not buy it. So this is the Norvina 6. <laughs> okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I ended up with the Norvina 6 because I'm a completionist when it comes to my collection, okay? And not only that, I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful palette. It really is. Out of all the palettes, this is definitely one that you would think that I would get, you know, because of the color story. Um, I kind of avoided it because it's not, in my opinion, as colorful as... I have palettes that are way more colorful than this, and I don't really like 
pressed glitters in my palette. They don't bother me or irk me to the point where I, you know, it'll keep me from buying a palette. But if a palette has pressed glitters in it, it's it tends to kind of make me say, mm, really look at the palette a lot harder to determine whether or not I want it. So that was one reason why I kind of shied away. But like I said, the completionist, <laughs> it wouldn't let me pass on that one. Okay, so next, this palette is not new by any means. It is actually very, very old. But the, uh, how can I say, the packaging that I had this palette in, I felt like was a big reason why I never used the palette. It is the Melt Cosmetics Blueprint. So I went ahead and repurchased this in the new standard packaging. I have it in the little circle stack. That thing just sits on the shelf. I never even touch it. I forget that I even have it, quite honestly. So I said, you know what? I want to, since I love these colors, these shades, I really, really like, you know, the melt formula for their mattes and everything. You guys know I love blue. I went ahead and got it in this basic regular um, packaging because... I just knew I was never going to reach for the stack, but I do love this palette, this color story, and definitely want to use it. So grab that, the Haunted Pumpkin. I did go ahead and pick this up <laughs> from Give Me Glow. I was extremely shocked at how big this palette is. I really don't know that you guys can tell how huge this package is. It is huge. This palette, like... Look at this. You see how big that is? It's like, you know, from my wrist all the way to my elbow. This is a really big palette. <laughs> I don't know how I can express that enough. Let me see if I can. Okay, so you guys are familiar with the Juvia's Place shadows, right? So this is what the Juvia's Place shadows look like, the sizing. This is what the Haunted palette sizing for their shadows is. Do you see the difference? Huge. Like, seriously huge. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I just was not on board or knew how big this palette is, but it's really big. So anyways, this is what it looks like. It's about <laughs> two, three months too late. Because um, I feel like obviously it's a Halloween palette, but the color story is unique and pretty enough for me to have picked it up. So I'm glad I have it. Definitely could pull it out for next Halloween or next fall in general because the color story is really pretty. But that thing is huge, okay? So, okay, so these next two palettes I picked up from Unearthly Cosmetics. Ugh, this one palette here, I've already used this, the Leather and Lace. The packaging leaves a lot to be desired, <laughs> but I guess it's supposed to be leather. I don't know where the lace is, but it's supposed to look like leather, I guess. But yeah, I this color story, it might not look like much to a lot of people, but for someone who loves just like grungy eye looks and just like to be able to create depth with a beautiful green and plummy purple, it's just so much fun to me. I love these shades like for autumn, for fall, for winter. It just, it got me. And it's the square pans. It's probably the square pans that got me, honestly, because this palette, I love it. It is such a nice quality palette. It's like weighted. It's not light. has a nice mirror in here. I just, I had a really good time using this palette, okay? And I also grabbed dead of night dead of night so yeah i had seen of course um a lot of the influencers who had used this tried it out tested it and at first i wasn't going to grab it because it's the same color story the same jewel tone color story the purples the blues the greens like how many times do i need that but i'm really glad i did because of the fact that i love that leather and lace palette so much the quality of it it's just a really this is a palette that i i don't see myself getting rid of because it is just 
absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I can't wait to play with this color story. It's my favorite color story. <laughs> so glad I grabbed that. Now, next I have some palettes that I did grab during uh, Morphe's sale. I don't know if they're still having their sale. Um, these newer ones, I did not get on sale, of course. I grabbed those from Ulta. Got a little discount, I think. You know, my little $5 or 20% off or something. But these other palettes, I got straight off the Morphe website. They were having a 50% off sale, honey. So the palettes that I had my eyes on and that was sitting in my Ulta cart waiting for, you know, them to go on sale. I went right on over to the Morphe website because I like to do that. You guys should do that too for brands that um, are sold by Ulta and Sephora and stuff. And you're finding that they're not on sale um, at those stores. Check the brand's website, especially during the holidays, because sometimes they're having like really good sales of their own. 30% off, 40% off. And like I said, Morphe had 50% off, honey. So I snatched them up and I emptied my Ulta cart. <laughs> so this one is the 9K Khaki Calling. And I've been looking at this color story for the longest time. And it's funny because online, this color story costs me so much more than in person. Because <laughs> it's like now I'm just like, eh, it's okay or whatever. But, you know. It's a pretty green themed palette. But when you really look at it, it's kind of like, okay, well, there's like, what, two greens in there? This might have a bit of a green tint to it as well. So one, two, three. And then the rest is just kind of like cool tone neutral shades. So, but I guess in a nine pan palette, that's all you need. But yeah, it is not as exciting to me as it was in the picture online but I got it 50% off. Okay, and next I grabbed this Pretty in Peach. It's the 9E Pretty in Peach. And this one is really pretty. Like I said, I've really kind of been into like the rosy peachy tones and I thought this color story was really, really nice. Um, Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. This one is the 9T Neutral Territory. So, got a cute little neutral palette as well. And I love these type of palettes. I know people always talk about, oh, you know, it's travel friendly. It's great for travel. You know, cute little palettes, da 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 da, da. I actually do travel, so <laughs> I like having palettes that travel well. So, yeah, you know, or different color stories that I can easily grab and take with me this last one here the 9w smoke and shadow this one i really really like but this one i honestly feel like i already had in my collection but i had just grouped them all together but this is one that i really really love because i don't think i just bought this so these are the three newest ones that I saw from Morphe. Um, I saw them on Instagram. I actually put a picture of these on my Instagram. Um, super duper boring, super boring, but I wanted them in my collection. <laughs> I just, I felt like, you know what? They're pretty to me and I want them in my collection. So I got them. This first one is called Floralise. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty. And so Floralise looks like this. I feel like these palettes are, I don't know, they might be kind of geared towards makeup artists or people that really just use the same shades over and over and over again. Because I'm like, the larger pans, you know, like I don't need all of that. But this is, I'm sure, a gorgeous blush, you know, some really pretty like, you know, highlighting shades. Well, this looks like a pretty blush um which is too light for me but it definitely looks like a really pretty blush for someone this looks like a pretty blush and then these are kind of like highlighting shades here really pretty and then of course you know the eyeshadow so that's cute this one is the solaris no solaria y'all know i need to put my glasses on but i refuse okay the solaria so this one is just your warm earthy tones 
So you can use this, you know, for like a bronzer, highlight, blushy tone. Depending on your skin tone, this could be either a highlight or a blush. You have some really pretty, you know, highlighting shades and then just your basic um, eyeshadows up there. So yeah, this is a very, very basic palette. Don't ask me why I felt like I needed these in my collection, but I did. That's why I bought them. So this one is the Lunarius. <laughs> the Lunarius. And this one I really, really like. So it's that smoky vibe, you know. Definitely with the black, the beautiful uh, shimmers in there. And then this one here is kind of like, you probably, I don't know if you can see it. It's a dual chrome. You see that? It's shifting from that blue-green to that kind of, I don't know, what is it, like a taupey shade? But yeah, that is a duochrome. This one kind of looks like it might shift as well. Oops, sorry. That one looks like it might shift, but I can't tell. This one I know for sure shifts. So yeah, really, really gorgeous. But I think they're kind of geared more towards like makeup artists with those super large pans in there. Okay, so we're coming to the home stretch almost. I have like a whole plethora of palettes that I got from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. I love her brand, her eyeshadows. Um, definitely, definitely one of my favorite formulas. You know, every now and then there might be a shimmer or two or a matte or two here or there that is not really my vibe in her palettes or I don't think it's the best. But for the most part, her palettes are bomb. So she did like some refreshing of some of her previous palettes, like redid them, um, updated the color story or just kind of refreshed the formula or how the shadows looked. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those, the refreshed ones. I think I have one, two, three. Three of these that I have are the refreshed ones. And I have to say, I do like the refreshed ones better, just right off top how they look. So this first one is the Jamrock Rebirth. I do have the original of this one. And I must say, the refresh color story, I really, really like. I did keep my original, um, so I do have both. But this color story, I really, really like. I love the greens, the pinky purples, you know, the aqua shades in here. And I'm really, really hoping that that's going to be nice. I know I ain't supposed to be swatching. I said I wasn't going to swatch. Y'all, I have like this thing about swatching my palettes before I sit down to use them. I don't like swatching my palettes, but I do, you know, occasionally for you guys. So that's what that yellow is looking like. You know, oh, I'm ashy. Y'all, excuse the ash, okay? So that's what the yellow is looking like. So it's promising, honey. It's promising, okay? But yeah, I love her formula. So this is the refresh color story for the Jamrock Rebirth. Really, really pretty. Next here, she did do a refresh for her Jamrock colored Wasashana palette. This is the pastel one. And I know it was kind of hit or miss for some people. And, you know, I really enjoyed using it. The shimmers weren't the best. So hopefully these shimmers are better than the ones in the previous palette. I don't know, only time will tell. But the color stories look very, very similar, quite honestly. It kind of looks like she just kind of moved a lot of the colors around and put them in different places. There are slight differences. There are slight um, different shades in the shimmers and slight different shades in the mattes. But I think for the most part, she just kind of like rearranged the shadows in the palette. So I do like the look of this. I think it is very pretty. Um, I definitely am looking forward to using it. With shadows like these, I really, really love to do like one, uh, one and done kind of monochromatic eye looks, you know, like maybe just an eye look with this gorgeous blue um, or with one of these beautiful, gorgeous greens or orange or pink. Like I really like to do monochromatic looks with these bright colors. So we'll see. We'll see, honey. <laughs> Okay, and the last refresh palette is this Jamrock 
This is the Carnival and Reggae Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This one, I feel like I really, really like the upgrade the most because the original Jam Rock had circle pans, okay? And I never really could get with the circle pans. It's like I, I would sit down and try to use it, but it was like, mmm. So this one has square pans, okay? So she went ahead, switched it up put the square pans in here and it's really, really pretty. It has, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous colors to create looks for carnival, you know, reggae, all that kind of stuff. And these are all mattes. That's another thing that's really, really nice about this palette. It's a great companion palette for some of your other ones that are like really amazing, gorgeous shimmers. If you like to buy singles, you know, the dual chromes and multi chromes and stuff like I do, or even like with the Adept Cosmetics palettes, how it's like a lot of them are completely shimmer or very shimmer heavy, and you might want to add some mattes to it. I love palettes like this for that because you can do the whole, you know, companion palette thing with one of your beautiful shimmer palettes. Now, some other beautiful palettes I picked up from her. This is the Vigorously Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is the newest one. Is this the newest one? I think this is the newest one that she came out with. And I just had to have it. I don't know. This packaging is kind of interesting. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. But. Looking at this palette, it's kind of reminiscent of like um, one of the larger Glam Light palettes, like the Ice Cream palette or the Michaela palettes. It's kind of reminiscent of those because you can see those amazing shimmers in there with those beautiful mattes. I mean, who chow? Oh, there's a lot of green. I'm just, I'm really noticing there's a lot of green in this palette. There's some beautiful purples and violets. I see the burgundies, a couple of pops of blue in there, but this palette is very green heavy. So, you know, if you like that, then you might want to get jiggy with this. But these shimmers, I'm telling you in person, they look amazing. So if they look good to you on camera in person, they look 10 times better. Okay, they're absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, I need to pull this palette out. <laughs> I need to pull that out. Okay, so this is the 777 palette, um, which is very confusing to me because I don't feel like the packaging matches the inside. But let me show y'all what it looks like. Another very, very heavy, green heavy palette, okay? So yeah, the packaging to me does not, does not fit the crime <laughs> inside so yeah very beautiful greens beautiful blues got that little pink little purple and this little yellow in here so it's like this is definitely for someone who loves blues and greens just period which i do oh my goodness i do okay uh hello <laughs> but yeah this palette so so pretty oh my gosh this is gorgeous. I feel like with this palette, the palette that I have from um, Beauty Bay, you know, with the greens. And what did they mix that with? Because I know I have a blue palette. I have a green palette. I have a berry palette, purple palette. Beauty Bay has all the palettes, honey. But that green palette from Beauty Bay, <laughs> bomb. The uh, Money Talks palette from P. Louise, that big one with the, I mean, it's all green. And then the little drawer has the grungy greens in it along with this. And then it's, it's like, honey, I'm greened out. I don't, if I buy another green palette, y'all slap me. Okay. Do not let me buy another green palette. Just don't do it. And then I think this is the last one I have from Plan and Makeup by Yolando. It's the Relentless Eyeshadow Palette. And I think I showed this as, um is well in one of my videos i don't know if i picked it for a shot my stash or what but i actually use this palette so maybe that's why i was showing it in my shot my stash 
but another beautiful, amazing, colorful palette. Not a lot of shimmers in here. It's just a couple of shimmers here, but the main attraction are these duo chromes over here. I don't know if they're multi-chromes or if they're duo chromes, but honey, they some kind of chromes. They are amazing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch these for you guys because I know y'all think I be lying. Y'all think I be playing. Y'all think I just be hyping these palettes up and uh child uh-uh so yeah like i said excuse the ash but yeah absolutely gorgeous i mean ugh, i think they're like duo chromes but look at that can you imagine that on my eyeballs <laughs> so yeah, those are the true stars in this palette. And you see how large those pans are for those, you know, duo chromes. Pans are huge. So you can create a whole plethora of looks and incorporate those duo chromes in your looks. And child, they're going to be bomb, just bomb. So I'm talking too much. Okay, I'm almost done. I did grab this. This is might be like one of the newest additions to my collection. It's the Dollhouse from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I have their other two super colorful palettes. Love them. They're amazing. <sighs> the pigmentation, the blendability, the shimmers. I just, I love those palettes. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Um, I don't anticipate that I'll use this a lot but i do love the coolness about it so it's like you know you got some pretty colors in here but it's more of that cool vibe you know that that cool tone vibe but it goes very very deep as you can see the shimmers oh my gosh i like i said with this one i kind of went back and forth so i watched a lot of videos looked at a lot of people using it a lot of eye looks on instagram just really really <laughs> deep diving into whether or not I wanted this palette because it is so cool you know it's just it's not that deep richness but I felt like this is something I needed to have in my collection so I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm so happy I did so happy I did okay so let's run through the rest pretty quick um these three are from Ace Beauté. I did pick up the Envy palette. Cute packaging. I love Ace Beauté. They're really, their eye for color stories. I don't know if they just really be listening in the beauty community or if they just really know how to get it right themselves, but their color stories be on point. So this one is the Aura. I love that purple. Look at that. So, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I got the ambiance. So, really, really love that packaging. Oh. Child, if this doesn't say fall, okay, definitely. To me, it feels like this is kind of like a toned down, muted um, version of, hold on, let me grab it. Okay, so this is the ambiance palette. And then this one is the Flare Palette. So the Flare Palette is one of my absolute favorite fall color stories from them. But it's like, you know, they're different, but, you know, they, they do. They kind of give me like the same type of feel, same type of vibe, but they're just different enough for you to be happy you got both. <laughs> So, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this. And the packaging is like a little bit thicker, you know, a little bit larger now than it used to be. So I do like that. Okay, so those are the three I got from there. I also got this. I think I showed this already. This is the Cosmic Wanderer from Terra Moon Cosmetics. Yo. <laughs> This color story, oh, I kind of feel like I already showed it and used it, but I didn't. I swatched it on Instagram. So I became very intimate with this color story on Instagram, fell in love with it. 
it's just beautiful but once again the jewel tones the purples the blues the greens you know the huge um and then my latest um adept cosmetics palette the minka i did grab that not too long ago i used it as well i only used um this shade here and both of the mattes and I combine them with some of the other single shadows I have from Adept. But child, these shimmers. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. It's like their shimmers are so beautiful. It's like I don't even be wanting to swatch them because I don't want to mess them up. But when you do, you have to do an eye look. So this one here, this is the, the Moment palette from Dominique cosmetics the packaging is really pretty that's what the outer box looks like i still have it because it's so gorgeous and this is what the actual palette looks like so so pretty you know i know that i got the lights and stuff going on but hopefully you can see it there child and this palette is nicely weighted very very good construction and quality on this palette and this is what this palette looks like. Uh, I can't wait to deep dive into those shimmers. It's just a neutral palette. But when I watched her video, and I watched other people's videos using it as well, you know, just to kind of gauge how I felt about it. But when I saw the shimmers used, swatched, eye looks created, it just was like, you want that palette. So grab that. This definitely not new. I only bought it because it was on sale and it's always been on my radar ever since it first came out. It's been on my radar. Funny thing is, is I bought this palette for my friends <laughs> and never bought it for myself. The Urban Decay uh, Naked Wild West. Cause I don't, I don't buy Urban Decay Naked palettes. It's like for what? For what? Why? Why would I buy an Urban Decay Naked palette? Somebody explain that to me in the comments. Why would I buy it? So I bought this because it was on sale, which is a bad reason to buy something. Okay. But deep down, I did always kind of want this in my collection, even though I never bought it for myself. And even though I did do a whole video duping this palette. Okay. I love that eye look I created in that video, by the way. You want to check it out it's still on my channel duping this palette okay but yeah it went on sale so your girl went ahead and grabbed it um i don't know hopefully i enjoy using it one day if not then you know y'all see it in a future a future declutter <laughs> but i feel like you know this is one of those um one of those purchases where it's like, I'm already regretting it. <laughs> already regret it. But the packaging is really, really pretty. So, you know, I'm regretting too much. This is the MAC. Um, I got the Black Panther eyeshadow palette. I showed the highlighter in my highlighter video when I went through my whole highlighter collection. I showed the highlighter, but I didn't swatch it. I still ain't swatched it, okay? But I did pick up the palette as well. So this is the Black Panther palette from MAC. Haven't used it yet. I believe I will use it. I do. I feel like I will use the palette. Um, and I'll probably end up using the highlighter as well. Because I do want to check it out. So even though I'm not a huge fan of MAC eyeshadows, they're okay. You know, but I have so many other eyeshadows that are really, really amazing. You know, it does, it's not like I'm drawn to use my MAC palettes, but I think I am going to use that. And so lastly, these, I'm not going to take them off the package, okay? Thankfully, the palette is actually shown on the outside of the box. So these are all of my Viseart palettes that I did grab when they went on sale, okay? Because... That's the best time to grab Busy Art palettes. So this first one here, child, I'm going to put on my glasses and still pronounce them wrong, okay? <laughs> Is this the Mirai Itendu? Mirai Itendu palette? You can see right here. If you can pronounce that, it's right there. 
but that's what the palette looks like. So definitely a travel palette. Palettes like this, you know, Viseart has a great quality, great eyeshadow quality. The shadows basically blend themselves. Very easy eye look. You don't have to stress off of anything. And as you can see, they're very boring palettes. So <laughs> these are great for travel, okay? Even though they're a little more pricey, a little more expensive, they're very small. So if you can pack them very carefully and, you know, you don't mind traveling with them, they're great travel palettes. So this next one is the Violet Etendu. So Violet Etendu, this one is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So, so pretty. Um, and then I got a few that are this size. This one is the San Francisco Etoile. So it just has that pop of green and peach shimmer in there very very cute little bite-sized palettes this one here is the london etoile etoile i'm sorry i know i'm pronouncing that wrong honey i don't know but um yeah this one is the paris that beautiful bright blue and that dark purple in there that cool tone gray yeah i can't wait to play with this one this one I really didn't need because I had the mid size of this, but this one is the Editorial Brights. So this is the really teeny tiny one. And I do have the one that's just slightly larger than this. And I have the large one in this. <laughs> so I really didn't need this. Um, so I purchased that by accident. But that's perfect for travel because I take that and then I take one of the neutral looking ones. And so my travel palettes are like this big and I have every color that I need, right? Right. So this one here is the cool. So you can see there, definitely very cool tone color story. Gorgeous. And then this is what started the whole fiasco on Viseart. The palette that I said that I was trying not to buy in my video the petite fours violetta so that one there i was like uh, i don't know if i want to buy it it looks gorgeous blah 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 but i had to have it so i went ahead and grabbed it so and this is what it looks like and this is the one that i was like really really like stressing over and it's really just like <laughs> a gray tone shimmer like a um what do you call it like gunmetal or a like pewter type shimmer. This shimmer up here is the one that's actually super duper gorgeous. It's like super delicious. So anyway, very, very pretty. Glad that I grabbed it. So you guys, I almost forgot. I was so excited about all of my palettes that I wanted to show you guys that I forgot that I did have a few items that aren't eyeshadow. <laughs> just a few though i grabbed a couple of blushes and highlighters from ColourPop, um but then i have this one highlighter that i grabbed from ulta during their sale like black friday and stuff it's the kiko cosmetics it's one of their um holiday highlighters one of my absolute favorite favorite highlighters to this day is the Kiko Cosmetics highlighter that I bought last holiday or two holidays ago. I can't remember, but I love that highlighter. So I said, you know what? Let me try one of this year's highlighters to see if I like it just as much. This one is called Joyful Holiday. It comes in this cute little compact that has like, you know, where you can hang it on the tree. So very cute. But yeah, it's Joyful Holiday Shimmer Dream Highlighter in Sweet Champagne. So very pretty packaging. And like I said, I don't know. I'm hoping that I will like this one as much as I like the other one that I have. It doesn't seem like it's going to give me as much va-va-va-voom as the other one, but we'll see. You know, want to check it out. So I did grab that. Now from ColourPop, I did pick up one of their Super Shock Cheeks. Um, when I was on the website, there was a few blushes that really stood out to me. And I was like, girl, you need to try that. Okay. So this one is chamomile. So it comes in their 
cute little, you know, packaging or whatever, but it's certain blush shades that I just feel <sighs> really look nice, but they don't look like overly colorful, like super red or super duper pink or anything like that. And this is one of those shades that I feel like would just look really, really nice on the cheek, really nice flush of color on the cheek and you can kind of wear it with um, a number of different eye looks and things like that. So yeah, I feel like that is a really, really pretty color. So that one is Chamomile. Now the whole It's a Small World collection, I was looking at that and as soon as I saw them different size pans and that eyeshadow palette, I knew I wasn't gonna buy it. But as I was looking at all the different new products that came out with that collection one of the blushes caught my eye so it is part of the it's a small world collection from ColourPop. but i just grabbed this one blush child okay so what is this one called dancing darlings is that what it is dancing darlings <laughs> i mean the packaging is cute but yeah i was like i'm not getting that palette so this is what the packaging looks like for the blush and let me show you what this blush looks like okay I could not pass this up. look at this okay <laughs> so yeah that blush color I was like oh I want it <laughs> so we gonna see how this looks most of my ColourPop blushes are pretty pigmented I don't be having issues and problems with it so I anticipate this one being nice and pigmented, so we'll see, okay? I would try it on, but I already have blush on. I don't know if you can see, but I do have blush on today. So next I have this Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. Now, packaging really, really, really pretty. Um, This one is in Wildflower Honey. <laughs> Wildflower, did I? Oh, yeah, child. I'm tired. Wildflower honey. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if I bought this um, because I thought it was more of like a shimmery blush color or if I bought it because these are so hard to open. This is what the packaging looks like. So it's like has that hard to open clasp or if I bought this to use as a highlighter, child, I don't know. Because looking at it, I'm thinking that I bought it to use as a shimmery type blush. But I feel like, no, this is a highlighter. I'm swatching it, y'all. Can y'all look at that? Look how pretty that is. Look how deep and dark and beautiful it looks. But then you see that shimmer? Look. Yeah, I definitely bought this to use as a highlighter because that is really pretty. Tell me it's not. <laughs> that is really, really gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, really pretty. So if you like that, it's Wild Flower Honey. Okay, really, really pretty. And I have only one more, you guys, and then that is it. <sighs> This is from Soul Body as well. It's another shimmering body powder. But this one is really, really big compared to the Wildflower. As you can see, it's bigger. So this one is Fire Up. So let's see what Fire Up looks like. Okay. Because, child, I don't remember. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, she pretty. So that is, <laughs> that's what Fire Up looks like. That actually looks like a flame. Okay. Ciao. I should. I should go ahead and swatch the blushes. It just feels so smooth too. Oh my gosh. So let's see what this looks like. Lord, don't let me drop it. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's like they have very similar. Look at that. Very similar tones to them. But the wildflower, it has more color to it, you know, just right off top. But the, what is it? Fire Up is just like straight up like gold. 
but then you know when you shift you can see that color but they're very very similar oh my gosh okay i'm surprised i bought two things that's so similar but this one you know if you look at it sideways compared to this one i'm talking too much i need to end this video but you know i just want you guys to have all the information okay but if you look at them like this you know you can definitely see the wildflower you know is darker and has more color to it you know and then straight on you can see you know see the difference in them oh my gosh those are gorgeous though gorgeous okay color pop so anywho you know what let me just do this right quick okay while i'm here let's swatch the it's a small world since we swatch it now and just see oh yeah that's pretty oh she pretty she pretty okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the chamomile super shock cheap cheek uh, i hate swatching these because you know they have that pretty pattern on there so and also with these i like to use like a harder bristle brush because sometimes they you know the color payoff it doesn't show as much you know oh yeah see i like that that's definitely a really really pretty everyday type shade i can build it up or i can just leave it like that yeah i like that very pretty and i may as well swatch my new little highlighter from kiko cosmetics okay ah i'm gonna mess up my little yeah let's do it oh oh uh, let's see let's do it right here y'all why am i so ashy right now okay oh yeah that's gonna be another highlighter that i really like it's not as deep as i usually go but with the, what i really love about um, the previous highlighter by them is that it it just gives me that nice sheen that nice pretty soft sheen on my cheek it's like beautiful everyday highlighter yes yeah, so it's, it's giving me the same vibe giving me the same type of vibe so that's it you guys that is my whole uh haul of palettes i you know won't be doing another haul before the end of the year the year is basically over and i'm actually considering going on a no buy for 2023 but we'll discuss that in january <laughs> okay so you know I'm sure I have a few more purchases on their way in the mail or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I'm honestly thinking about doing a no buy for 2023, at least up until Black Friday. So for the whole year. And the reason being is because I really, really want to start loving on my collection and really filtering out products that I really don't like or don't want, which I try to do quite often anyway. But when you love palettes as much as I do, that's very, very difficult. So, anyway, that's what's on my mind. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on these palettes. Do you have them? Did you grab them? Were you thinking about them? Do you have palettes that are very similar to these that maybe you can share with everybody else? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, morning week weekend whenever it is that you're watching this i hope that you have an amazing day so thanks so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles <laughs>